searching for gaming knowledge comes the man, the myth, a legend in his own mind, Critical. Welcome back, guys and gals. Critical here. Today I'm bringing an episode of Subsistence on my softcore playthrough. All right. We are back in Fort Hold. Getting some water cooked up. Ooh, I need to eat. Fortunately, I was prepared and I made some food for myself. Now, I've gone ahead and moved that solar panel, plus all the solar panels from up there down to here. If the game's gonna let me do it, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna tear apart that structure up here. I no longer need this structure that's up here. Ooh. Ooh, ooh, he says. That's iron and it's pretty. Make sure you go check out Bloodstalkers tournament prep videos. It's we had a good time working. I don't know how much time I'll be able to uh, to give to that, unfortunately, because uh, life and work are becoming an issue. But I will attempt to do so. But if I can't be there, I need you guys to be there and support Bloodstalker. Now, if I can, if I don't, if I'm not working that day, then yeah, sure. Unfortunately, when you lose people and you have to replace people, it's usually the manager that's getting borked. And and right now I'm I'm the bork E. And of course, I'm using I'm using borked as a metaphor for a completely different word. Oh, oh, oh. That was odd. All right, let's go ahead and delete these two real quick. And I want to add something to the structure. I want a, I think I want a wraparound. Sounds kind of weird, I know, but I'll show you what I'm talking about. I only have one way in, one way out. I've got the, my little drop right here, but that's not enough of a separate entrance and exit. So I am thinking, that possibly coming out from, I don't know, maybe coming out from here, I could put a walkway that leads to that rock and then goes around the rock? I don't know. I've gotta figure something out or maybe I need to push my balcony out further. I could do that. I could push the balcony out further I don't want to change the structure. So this is the middle. I could glass it out to the, with glass out to the middle. So it looks good. And then possibly spread, you know, put a second walkway. So then I can have a, uh, I need another exit. Maybe a, a, a ladder that goes down to that, the top of that rock there. I'll have to think about that one. That's a, a different, as far as I'm concerning it, a major change to the overall structure. And I'll have to consider that. All right, I need to make myself a drop chest over here too. Uh, I've got one here that I'm not really using for much. So I'll drop stuff into there for now and come back and organize it later. Let's take some food with me. I'll cook more food when I get back. That shouldn't be an issue. I've got tomatoes growing there. I am building up power and mass, so that's good. Let's head out. Let's go check my old place, see how the tomatoes over there are doing. I wanna keep an eye on those tomatoes, the tomatoes. Almost walked over that fiber. Yeah, I want to see what these tomatoes are up to, and I'm feeling the the need, the need for hunter death. I think I'm gonna go after the hunters today. You know, I've been kind of eh, standoffish. Leave me alone, I'll leave you alone, and yeah, that's just not working for me. I need to take it to the hunters. 
I've got five bandages. Ooh, that's not a lot. At least if I have any supplies here to make bandages at least. Eight first aid kits should be good. Man, I am tempted to take this place apart. The only thing is, there's so many resources built into it. Oh, level 10 chicken. Thank you. I don't think I actually need to. I mean, there's a lot to it. And I don't think that the benefit of taking it apart would be worth it, in my opinion. Bet I don't have... Oh, I do have some supplies here. Awesome. I'm so glad to see supplies here. Bandages. Make five more bandages. Kind of wish I had the first aid kit stuff, but no problem. Oh, there was water in there. Da rink. Thank you. What do I have in here? Eh, I do need to grab all this stuff, but we'll grab that at a later time. Fishing tackle will stay here for now. And of course, I'm still building mass and solar, uh, mass and power. But let that go up. Uh, mass isn't bone anymore. It's already maxed. I'm gonna hate to tell, tear that apart. But some of this stuff does need to go. Is there a wolf out there spinning around in the water as you, yeah, there is. At least it's not a deer. That's where you don't want to see a deer. Don't waste your time going after a deer out in the water because more than likely he'll get he'll uh, sink down to the bottom and you'll have to drown yourself almost to uh, to harvest it and you st still might not be able to get it before you die. Wolf and two crates. Those two crates aren't worth the shotgun shell. Unless I was going to get a shotgun shell out of it. Meh. But what I can do is drag him this way a little bit. Let's say, this is a good practice too, because if that was my death crate and the wolf was sitting there, I can drag the wolf away. Go around in a decent size. I don't want to say a large size circle, but a, a decent size circle. Because once you've dragged him away, you do not want to re-aggro that wolf. You want him to kind of just lazily follow you. Now you see he was just over there. So when he dropped off, he'll eventually kind of meander back over this way. And we want to get over here before he does. So that's a good way to practice how to get your death crate back in case you die. And I would suggest you definitely practice that. Don't don't pass the op the opportunity. You see a crate, you got an, an animal, a wolf. Practice getting close enough to the wolf to get them to stalk you, to walk after you, and then lead it away from said crate. Cause that is an, a, a very important skill to have. It'll allow you to get back your uh, death crate and get all your supply. Well, get back the supplies that survived your death, that is. But we'll see wolf, leave him alone. I really want some rogue hunter action, but... Oh, hello, that's regular hunter. Actually, I wanna check out my hunter bases and see what kind of bases they have built. I wanna see if I've got one of those new curved glass bases. They use a large piece of curved uh, a glass wall, curved glass wall. All right, we'll go around to the other. S oh, geez, my choices are bad, worse, and worse. Wolf, bear, rogue hunter. Oh, geez, let's run, boy. Chase me, bear. Chase me. Well, actually, go after the hunters. Leave me alone. That'd be awesome too. But I got the stamina. I've got a belly full. And boy, you didn't run very far. I'm not going to complain. I will take that as a gift and say thank you, Mr. Bear. Got to figure out which hunters are. Oh, that's right. This is. You know, I keep forgetting that the one hunter base up here is in Cougar Town.
Rogue Hunters? No regular. You guys aren't going to build the base I'm looking for, so now i got to get to the other side of you. But i got a bear over here. Now, there's good and bad points to these guys being kind of in a line. The bad part is, when I aggro one camp, I have a very good opportunity of aggroing a second camp. Now, unless I'm really not paying attention, I shouldn't aggro more than two. But just the fact that I can aggro two possible camps at the same time, that can get really sticky. Let's go see what this rogue hunter camp over here, or a regular hunter camp over here is doing. I got rogue hunters on the brain. Ah, they might be building with that one with a curved wall in it. Curved glass wall, maybe, maybe. I don't know if they're far enough along to be able to see if they're going to do it. Nah, it doesn't look like it. It looks like that's a regular wall up there. Have you guys had fun with cougars yet? Oh, there's a cougar right there, too. I wonder. Nah, the problem is the way I would run. I was thinking about maybe tagging that cougar, running off and seeing if I get that cougar to come into this area. The problem with that is I end up running right into the other hunter base. See? I ended up aggroing those guys right there. Hmm, I really don't like the locations of these bases. There's too much stuff around. Either other hunters or cougars and bears. Oh my. Chicken's running toward me. No, I was just about to take a shot too. Eh. Oh well. Let's see if I can find some rogue hunters. Or a deer. That would be nice too. It's been a few days. Two days in this game, I think, since I've seen a deer. I think. I don't know. They kind of all blur together sometimes. I really need to spend some time off screen and just finish moving. But I do have to decide what I'm going to do with that with Fort Hold. I mean, I really like the way that it is. It's kind of set back up in that rock like that. You know what I could do? I could I could have a wing that's still in the cave. But that provides me a and I could use a couple ladders off to the one side that allow me to be able to enter and exit without using the back side of the house. That's the problem. If there's a bear that's causing it, making it so I can't run outside, you know, out my door and just run up around the rock or something, that same bear is probably going to aggro me if I come, if I go down the ladder, he's still, that bear or a wolf or whatever I don't, I'm trying to avoid, I'm still going to aggro and it's typically a bear and I'm still going to end up aggroing it. It's going to cause problems. Hence why my, one of my solar panels was just about destroyed and I decided to move all the solar panels. That was one single bear caused that issue. Oh, jeez. Loot-tastic. I'm definitely getting good iron today. Don't need to worry. I don't, don't need to go see the dock to get iron. I'm picking up a ton of it. Well, not a ton of it, but a good amount of it. Oh, that was kind of weird. I tripped over the bag almost. That's what it looked like. And yes, I'm still hoping for a deer. That's why I got my rifle out. Oh, 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 I pissed somebody off. Yes, I yes I did. No, ow, oh, jeez. I said no, as in don't shoot me in the butt. Shot me in the butt anyways. 
Yeah, uh, you don't have protection. Ah, oh, but he moved. See, he doesn't have protection, but he moved. Oh, no, he's got a bow out. That means he's gonna get a hit. More likely, yep. Right in the head. See what I mean with that bow of theirs? Unless I duck behind, oh, jeez. Unless I duck behind something, if they have a bow out, it means they're almost always gonna get a hit first. Well, not always, but if I'm trying to actually shoot them, if I, if I don't worry about trying to hit them, and I just worry about dodging the arrow, then I can dodge the arrow. 25 arrows, okay, good. Where was your camp? I bet you it's the base of this rock or something. No way, it couldn't be way over there. Did I just, I happened to grab the, I got too close to one guy. Seriously? That was just bad luck that I didn't see him or whichever, him, her, it, whatever it is, first. Oh my lord. Because we don't know what these hunters are. <laughs> they might not even be human for all we know. Because this could be an alien world. We've never got a backstory. You never know. Though I doubt it, but you never know. All right, I want to be careful on the medical supplies. I don't want to use a first aid kit unless I really need to use the first aid kit. That's just kind of dumb. So update. I honestly haven't heard a thing. Uh, the information that I have seen on the forums is indicating that an update is in the works, but don't know what it is or isn't as of yet. Oh, I missed you. Darn it. So if I see something, I, I said, I am not going to spoil updates, but I will keep my ear open. If I hear that something's coming out or it's getting close, I will let the information to, oh, okay, you know, I know there's something happening and then I'll probably be at about it, which will get from me. So far, I haven't heard or seen anything. At least nothing official, nothing that I can actually hang my hat on. And I don't always get access to it uh, early. Sometimes Cold Games is nice and gives me access to it on the experimental branch just to let me uh, take a look at it for them, but that doesn't always happen. He's not required to either. Let's just be honest, it's his game. He can do what he wants. I just play his game and put it up on my YouTube channel. Ugh. Do I still think we're gonna get a map expansion soon, I think. That area looks pretty well developed, like it's almost ready. But we've been saying that, me and Bloodstarker both have been looking out the fence on going, man, this looks already like, it's it's just like, all you gotta do is just get the fence out of the way and you could run right over and go collect stuff. But alas, he has not done that yet. But we shall see, we shall just have to wait and see. So I've gotten a deer. I've seen a row. I took out one rogue hunter camp. Not what I had planned for the day, but the other hunters, let's just be honest, they're not ready for me to attack yet. Only one of their bases actually has a roof on it. I'd rather they get completely set up because I really, really want to get some solar panels from them. And if I want solar panels from them, I'm going to have to give them a chance to get completely set up as... Oh, are you serious? Oh, I was going to take a, a shot when he was on the run. I'm going to have to let them get completely set up to have to better my odds, I think. I don't know if that means anything. If, they're, if their house is complete, they have a better chance of dropping the stuff that I want, but... Oh, 
Ah, he moved. Oh, I shot him right in the butt. <laughs> now the problem is, he's right near that uh, wolf. Did that wolf just run in a, and it's like he's, is he guarding that, that deer? Look at him, he's like he's sniffing the deer. He ran over and sniffed the deer. Yeah, he's attacking the deer. It's like he's trying to attack it, but it's already dead. Hey, idiot. That's mine. <laughs> oh, that was awesome. That that wolf was trying to get the deer. He was sitting there sniffing it and allowed me to come right up and shoot him in the butt. <laughs> oh, thank you. That was kind of cool. I've never seen that before. Antlers, thank you. Appreciate it. Hmm. I wonder. Is that an... I would think that would be an AI... Some kind of AI bug because that wolf should have keyed in on me because I was standing literally right on top of it. Run, rabbit, run. Oh, hit a tree. Hit a tree and bounce toward me. Gonna hit the rock. But, nope. He bounced the other way. Darn it. Let's go ahead and reload, just in case. So two deer, one whacked wolf. It was acting, it was rabid. It had to be put down. But the sun is starting to set, so I probably need to head home. And yes, I call Fort Hold is now home now. And I've been using the knights to make, uh, oh geez, another deer. All right, let's see if I can save some ammo. I wasted a lot of ammo on that last deer. Yeah, that was a little low, I should have known. Oh, don't go into the bushes. You're impossible to see. Oh, that was awesome. As soon as I shot the, the deer, I get the notification that one of my bases is under attack. Question is, which base? Oh, you're just a level one. Okay, well, I'll get two antlers no matter what, which is good. Got a lot of meat on me. I need to get this back to one of my refrigerators. The question is, what am I gonna walk into? Let me, let me get all my weapons reloaded real quick. And have my favorite weapon out, which is the bow, ready to go. Because I don't know what I am going to find. Am I going to find hunters at my... At Fort Hold or Point Defiance? I'm thinking it's going to be Point Defiance as I don't hear the hunters actually attacking anything yet. Awesome! That makes me a little bit happy. Yeah, I'm thinking if I kind of swing off of here, come out right here, and then just have, so I can get up, I can get here. I can almost just put a staircase, uh, just a straight staircase, one right here, and just have, it'll leave, uh, get me up to that level and just run straight over. That'll probably work. And the hatch could still be useful. It's just, you know, it's not my escape. It's not my bat, you know, my bat escape route or something. Not that I'm, I am Batman. Obviously I'm not, but. All right, let's just drop everything in here. Eat that. I'll reorganize at night. Yeah, I can probably take this wall away. Put a couple walkways out and then try to put a staircase. Oh, and I could probably turn it so the staircase goes down now. The only problem is that staircase is just gonna keep going down and down and down. And I don't want that. I'll try some stuff out. I'll try some stuff out overnight and see what happens. But my time is up. I've been critical. This has been subsistence on my softcore playthrough. If you guys have enjoyed this content, drop a like, consider subscribing, 
and I'll see you guys in the next one. Take it easy. Bye.